Creighton University started rehabilitating uh, eagles in 1970. Most birds, when, the, when they come through our facility, they're usually found by Good Samaritans, uh, members of the community in, in Georgia and Alabama. The birds are brought to the Auburn University Veterinary Clinic. Then that bird, over the next several days, will get whatever diagnostics are necessary for it. We kind of keep two lists of birds here, a med list and a rehab list. Our med list is usually birds that are needing daily care or frequent veterinary checks. Once those birds have gone through whatever they need, whether it's surgery or supportive care through tube feeding and fluids, once they're deemed healthy and they just need to gain their endurance back, move them to our rehab list and move them to our outdoor aviaries where they have space to fly and regain their strength. And so that's what we use these large flight aviaries for, is a chance for these birds to get outside, to get into their natural UV light and temperature and humidity, which these birds are used to. Uh, the best way to think about flight is it's marathon running for birds. You can't just sit inside and on the couch and then be expected to go run a marathon tomorrow. You have to work up to it. So we use our flight aviaries for a chance for these birds to rebuild their endurance, rebuild their strength. And it's a, a place for us to keep them safely confined so that we can continue to evaluate them to determine if these birds are good enough to where they're going to be released. And when I say good enough, you have to consider that it's a very athletic ability for them to hunt. So we're trying to get birds back to 100% normal. Once the birds are deemed ready for release, uh, we usually find sites that are, are fairly local to our area. Uh, we don't have a lot of time to travel um, and we'll release them. And that release is usually done with our volunteers. We have about 100 unpaid volunteers at the Raptor Center and releasing birds is one of the, the best rewards we can give them. We had five cases that were admitted on Saturday. Uh, we triage those birds, determine what needed to be done, whether they needed fluids or pain medication or anything like that. And then what we are doing today is we're reevaluating those birds to see how they've improved. Uh, these birds are all considered unable to fly was their, their presenting complaint. Um, so at this point, we're confirming they're eating. All of those birds have been eating. Uh, they're all back to being normal hydration status. I was checking their wings to look for any uh, fractures that could have been missed to make sure that every joint had normal range of motion, which they do. Our center takes in uh, 350 to 400 birds a year. This month alone, we've returned 16 birds to the wild, uh, including um, one bald eagle that was found in Tifton, Georgia, I believe. In the case of that bald eagle, there was a lot of hands involved. There was the Good Samaritans that found this eagle initially. Uh, Georgia Wildlife Rescue Association captured this eagle and took it to their local veterinarian who stabilized that patient. They then had a transporter drive this bird four hours to us um, where we got involved in its care and it was two months of rehabilitation uh, before this bird was ready for release. Um, but now that bird is back in its natural environment. Um, the director of Georgia Wildlife Association said it was paradise where we released that bird. It's a series of a bunch of small lakes, so plenty of, plenty of hunting ground for that bird.